Hi, Lou here again, and this time we're going to look at a drill that is called the S Full Ice Angling Drill. Totally lame title, I know, but it's all that I could think about. I actually got it when I was evaluating a Bantam Girls uh, rep team session. So it's a good drill, and as it says here, sort of deals with checking and defense. We place our D players, they don't have to be D men, uh, but certainly that would help. Uh, we throw them in the circle out of the way and we have our forwards or puck carriers down here in the corner and on the whistle uh, the defensive player is going to perform a little bit of an S head across and then angle and head up ice at the same time this player here is going to be going behind the net and head up ice and is sort of constrained by these pylons here now the tire kind of keeps them honest which is good as I've got an arrow drawn here but really what we'd like to kind of see is this player kind of coming down a little bit lower and sort of matching angle a little bit more rather than coming straight on which is a heck of a lot harder to time uh, hence the name angling so the idea would be that we would angle this player take away their space maybe by center now if this player doesn't practice uh, good gap control or gets too far in front they're going to end up having to turn backwards and playing a traditional one-on-one -on -one. and if they play too far behind the player they're just going to go by them and head down the ice and have a shot on net. Tough drill, great skill to practice. This player should try and be just slightly behind uh, or even with this player and obviously then slowly squeeze them out or take away their ice. This player of course is going to want to try and cut back uh, or perform a move and so that's why I say if you're playing just slightly behind them uh, that will allow you to close forwards which is a lot easier than trying to be in front and, and do that. Anyways, S full ice angling drill, give it a go. Thanks for listening.